Hi guys, it's right. So I'm going to take you through each of the movements that are going to be required for you if you're competing in the Unit Strongman Games 2023. So your first event, event number one, is going to be the axle deadlift. You can use your traditional figure six straps, you can use figure eight straps, obviously you can use chalk, no kind of grip enhancers like tacky or anything though, and no deadlift suits. You're going to start with the bar on the floor, you're going to finish with the bar in a locked out position, and that is knees locked, shoulders back, chest up, wait for your down signal, return the bar to the floor. The bar must be a dead weight on the floor, so you cannot bounce into another rep. If you bounce into a rep, you'll be given one warning by the referee, at which point if you continue to do so, those reps will be disallowed. Okay, so event number two is going to be your axle floor to overhead. This is how your implement is going to be laid out on these mats. Now you can power clean, you can belt clean, and then once the bar is at your chest, you can push press, you can push jerk, or you can split jerk, I don't mind. As long as it starts on the floor every rep and it finishes overhead every rep, that's a successful rep. So you'll take your bar from this position to an overhead position, However you choose to do so, you will wait at this point for your down command by either one of your referees and then you can simply drop the bar back down to the floor. This movement is a head-to-head -head event so you will be competing next to another competitor. So you will just need to focus on your referee, that will be clear before the event. Event number three is going to be your farmer's hold. So the height of your handle is approximately 23 inches off the ground. You can use chalk, you can't use any kind of tacky, you cannot use any kind of strap. This is a grip event. You will stand in between the handles, you'll take your grip, you'll be given a lift command. Once you are upright with your knees locked, then your timer will begin. You will hold the implements for absolute max time, at which point you either drop an implement or lower the drag, your timer will stop. Event number four is your load and drag medley. You're going to start at one end of the track where you have two implements. You can choose either implement to load first. You'll wait for your lift command. You can hover, you cannot touch until you get your lift command. At which point, pick up your implement, move approximately 20 meters down the track, and you're going to load it on the sled at the far end. You then need to run back, pick up your second implement, run back down the track, load that onto the sled. At that point, you will make your way halfway down the track. You can sit down at the tyre with your feet on the tyre, arms on the rope. You will pull the sled all the way to you until the sled hits the tyre that is the point that your timer will stop. Now if any of the implements fall off of the sled while you're dragging it, you have to reload your implements, the timer will not stop, it will continue to run. If you do not finish the event in time, you will be scored accordingly based on how many implements you've loaded or the distance that you have successfully dragged the sled. Your fifth and final event is a stone to shoulder medley. You will have three atlas stones laid out in front of you. You need to lift your stone from the floor to your shoulder, remove a hand, show that you are in control and wait for the down signal from your referee, at which point you can drop your stone. Only when you've had a successful down signal can you move on to the next stone. If you get a successful lift, you can move on to the final stone. If you can reach the final stone, you can continue to perform extra repetitions on that stone. If you only lift one stone in 85 of your 90 seconds, and another opponent lifts only one stone in 10 seconds, the time does not matter, the amount of stones lifted is all that matters, so you two competitors will share points. On this event, I don't want use of full new tacky. If you wear tacky sleeves, 
and you have a little bit of residue on the sleeves, that's fine. You can also tape your forearms. You can use chalk or we will have a couple of bottles of this spray on tacky that I will allow you to use on the day. You simply spray it onto your forearms and onto your hands. It acts like a really good chalk. So it's going to provide you with a little bit of a tacky finish, but it's not going to be so much that it's getting all over your clothes, all over the stones and all over the gym for the rest of the competitors. So that will be available for you to use on the day.